Hello, today I'd like to make this um, like welcome to your new home type card. We have a new neighbor, so I'm about to take this over and I wanted to uh, make another one first before I ship it, <laughs> ship it over there. I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to do um, some embossing paste um, bricks on the background instead. So on this I just have hello on a little thing and I colored with watercolor pencils. I cut out the rectangle stitch shapes and I put the flowers on the inside and a little sentiment. So uh, let's get started. Alright, so what you'll need is uh, your card base. I have Thick Whisper White and this is eight and a half by five and a half and it is scored and folded at four and one quarter. Then I, um, I used the stamp set uh, at home with you and uh, I used balmy blue to cut out the door and then the rest I cut out in uh, whisper white and colored. So um, this is actually on page 56 of the catalog. So um, yeah, let me put that aside. I also used the dies and um, the stitch shapes. I did this one, see this one is thick. So I did this one a little thinner. So I haven't popped it out yet. So we'll use that for something else. We'll put that up there. And we'll pop out just a small frame. Like so. I didn't want a huge one. And I'll put my dies back in here. These are the two largest ones. If you have these dies, so it's number one and number two. On that card there, I use number one and number three. But I wanted it a little bit thinner for this one. I wanted to show some more of the bricks and uh, for the flowers to fit a little, a little better anyway. All right. So um, all I did with that was I, I glued it on, so we can do this ahead. Had glue. Here we go. Liquid glue. Let's just stick some glue on here. And we'll put this on our card, get it out of the way. There we go. That should be good. Uh, just so we have a frame. I like the little frame on there. Right. So when I cut out the door, I'm going to um, trim so the door will open and score it here. But the piece of uh, Whisper White that you need to go behind is two inches by just under three and three quarters. So you want it to fit snugly in here. Let me cut the door. And put my cutter. Let's see, I'm going to. Oh, sorry if I get my head in here, but just bring it down and am I in the right place? Absolutely not. I want it on that line. cut that. Just make sure it's in this groove. You can actually put it up to the top but I need to see and I don't want to put my head in the camera. So, to there. I'm going to stop. And I'm going to try and score this so that we can just fold it. That should do. Let's see what we got. Yep, all right. And then we'll fold that down. Very cool, very cool. That worked out good. So now I'm just going to stick some glue around the edge of this. And the top, 
and this. And we'll put our piece of white on the back and bring it down to the bottom. There we go. So now we have our door that opens, well, and that dries. And I'll stamp that shortly. I'll just leave it there till it dries. Now, I used the, the flower pots and I colored those with a uh, bloody flamingo and uh, a purple um, marker. These are old stamping up ones. I have some new that have the names and other ones are from my old set. So that's just a purple. So I did pink and purple flowers on this one. And the green I used was kind of like a lemon lime, a bright green. And the brown for the basket, I used a brown and a red. And a little bit of this at first. So it's like an orangey, trying to make it like a, a rusty basket looking color. And then for these little lanterns, I used the black. And a little bit of the balmy blue inside for the window. And I used the orangey type for the candle. And um, for the welcome mat, I used Night of Navy and balmy blue. And oh, whatever this, like it's a grainy blue color for that and then I blended them with a blender pen so I'm going to like just show you for an example here and this one I just did in balmy blue and night of navy and you can kind of see where I've like sort of scribbled it's not nice and smooth so if you just take your blender pen Make sure it's clean and you just smooth it out. It makes it just look all nice and neat rather than all scribbled. It kind of smooths it all out. Now for the, the wreath I did the same thing. Uh, you just smooth it out with the marker. The blender pen. I've already smoothed it out, so I'm not going to do that. But let me show you just a couple here. So you can color any which way. You can just scribble. Let's put some brown on. And a little bit of this to lighten it up. And then you take your blender pen. And you just smooth it all out. Exactly why it's called a blender pen. So that's how you do like the little basket part. Then the uh, flowers, I just I'll do these like yellow, orangey color. Doesn't matter, it's just to show you how I did it. You just scribble on there. And how about a dark red? Do dark red. And green. And then you take your blender pen and just blend it all together. So it just so it kind of smooths it all out. And it doesn't leave you with any white. There we go. So it just smooths all your colors out. I love watercolor pencils and blender pants. I really do. I was going to do Stampin' Blends, but changed my mind. So I got glue all over my fingers. Oops. Right, so let's put our card together. Oh, I was going to do the embossing paste. I shouldn't have put that on there. Oh, well. Next card. <laughs> I wonder if I could do it. 
nah, I'm not going to put it on top. So, next, the embossing paste. We'll do it the same as uh, this one. Right. So, we'll take our door and we're just going to put it in here. Yeah, about there. And I think I want, do I want that blue or that blue? I think I'm going with that one. I'm going to put my door in there first. I mean my welcome mat, not my door. Welcome mat at the bottom. There we go. And then we'll tape our door in. going to line up the white on the inside here and then just lay it down and I did put those on with dimensionals get a couple of dimensionals on the back And little mini ones. Do I have mini ones? Where's my minis gone? There you are. For the little lanterns, because they're small at the top anyway. Put a small one at the top. And a regular one down here. Flip. Small one at the top. And regular one there. Oops, got paper underneath it. Huh. So we're going to I'm going to put the lantern even with the window from the door right there. Take them off. Same on this side. Go. And let's uh, stamp our sentiment while I have it here. I want hello. There you are. I need a little block. What's this one? Hello. And I'm going to use black um, memento. I'm going to just put it on the inside of our door. Say hello. Hello. And for the inside, let's see. Um, I'm going to put so happy you're here. Yeah, so happy you are here. You can find it on your no, no it has to be in here. Yep, right there. Right there. So happy you are here. We'll put that on the inside. Okay. Um, we're going to stamp a flower. Right. Oh, I could have showed you on this. Didn't have to do one. Huh? Right. Okay. Let that dry for a second. While it's drying. I'll put my, where did I put them? Great, and there they are. My little flowers, flower pots. I'll put these down. 
in the corner and in this corner too. Okay, that's good. Don't want it to go over the edge here, so. And there is our card, except we need to color real quick. So, take the reddish brown. And a regular brown. And let's blend it. And yeah, I'll do purple and uh, pink flowers. So. You get the picture, right? I can finish this off camera. Just like that. And then a green for your leaves. Doesn't matter how you are. Uh, you don't have to be neat here, just you're going to blend it all together anyway. So, there's our little flowers inside, and there's our card on the outside. It would have been probably nicer to uh, emboss it, and I did have a sample with the embossing with the brick. I didn't uh, put the door or anything on it yet, but I'll do another one with this one. I liked it with the embossing paste. And you just have to uh, spread your paste with the, pal the palette knife. You put this on your thing and tape some washi tape around a scrap piece of paper. Spread this in there and let it dry. And mine probably took about 15 minutes um, to completely dry. And before you um, do that, if you wanted to do colored bricks, you could add some drops and put some in a little, a little dish and add a drop or two of your ink for the color that you want your bricks to be. Um, but I just was gonna do the white, so. Sorry, I missed that out. <laughs> but if you have any questions, I can answer them for you. And uh, hopefully you like my little card and hopefully my new neighbor will too. They have six children. Uh, it's going to be fun. Brian and I are both retired and uh, our youngest grandson is 10. So he'll have fun with new neighbor kids when he comes to visit us usually on weekends. So I uh, thank you for watching and um, all the measurements, supplies, everything you need will be on my blog. Uh, anything supplies that you know you can click the links below please click subscribe and uh, when the bell shows up if you click notify uh, the bell it will notify you when i upload new videos i'm going to do an alternate paper pumpkin shortly so i'll have that uploaded tonight as well so i appreciate you watching and uh, my blog and website will be listed below and again i thank you for watching and my name is janice laroche a stampin nana and uh, you have a great evening. Bye-bye.